WordPress, right? Yeah. But, and we all use WordPress on your uh, websites, blogging, or oh, I just interested in the technology because it's fantastic and all. So um, basically, I'll be talking about how uh, WordPress is is good for coding, or it's the best platform, or one of the best platforms that you, if you know how to code, you can utilize very well. Um, before I start, I want to say that WordPress goes beyond uh, creating a website or um, creating website easily. Uh, a lot of depend on WordPress because it's quite easy to you know build something um, quickly in a few minutes. You have your website up and running and stuff like that. But you know, if you really know how to code, you can go beyond that. So. Um, Start with a quote I saw on on on, the, on one of the blogs when I was searching for this um, presentation. It says, uh, oh, "Sorry, one of the quotes is the computer programmer is a creator of universe for which he alone is the lawgiver. No playwright, no stage direction, no emperor, however powerful, as ever exercised such absolute authority to arrange a stage or field of battle and to command and such." Unswervingly dutiful actors or troops, Joseph Wiesenbaum. Um, basically, all this grammar that this person is saying is this: if you can code, you are a god. That's just what it means. Everything here, everything here says, if you can code, you are a god. A god to the command, a god, a god that can control the commands of an entire system. And if you can control an entire system, imagine how many people's life you control because you know how many people depend on systems to you. Are you following? Yeah. So the power to code is the power to control people, to help people at the same time as well. So basically, that's what I'm saying. And um, I'm going to share my experience with you guys. Uh, I've had a situation where, you know, what person is. It's really good to use, right? You know, you enjoy the you enjoy the experience of being able to do things really quick. How to quickly build the website? Uh, the deadline is next week. You are thinking, oh, if I start meeting on a CSS now, yeah, it will take forever to finish. Maybe two weeks, three weeks, depending on your skill level and all of that. So, you know, the, the, your skill level determines how fast you can finish with the HTML and CSS. But then you're like, oh, let me just take weeks. What person? What person do most of the things I need? Blah blah blah. And then you just go down the thing on news. And then you now start using the thing and you go to a place and you're like, okay, this thing cannot do what I'm looking for. I want to add, let's assume you're creating for, I work for an NGO part-time business as an intern, um, Strike for Mentor Initiative and Leadership Empowerment. And um, I take care of the IT stuff, the websites and all that. So, you know, we, 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 we wanted to go and um, rebrand the website. We wanted to rebrand the website. and. I bought this thing. I bought this thing. It had most of what I needed, right? And then we installed the team and then started going on, building the website and all that. And then my boss called me and like, hey, let me come. Uh, go to this website. This is what I want. We already purchased the team. We've done, we, you know, before you buy the team, you look at, ah, gee, this thing can do what I want, sha. Let me look at it, let me go through it, let me try all the buttons, they all work, blah, blah. And then she just called me all of a sudden, out of blue, I've gotten the thing, we already agreed on the design that I wanted to go for. And she says, we need to change the thing. We need to um, make it look like this other site and all that. So I went to the site and I just looked at the thing I purchased and the site that I wanted to do. There are two different things, and you know, you start to think, ah, do I have to purchase another thing? And then sixty-five dollars again, ah, more expenses and all that. So, what do we do? Find your way around, obviously. But developers, and one of the things about coding, one of the interesting things about coding is, I didn't go to any school to learn coding. Not to brag, sorry. Um, I didn't go to any school to learn coding or web development or anything like that. But I did go to. Um, New Horizon, if you're familiar with it, is like a I to learn, um, I was going to learn how to code and then she just took me away and said, okay, there's a program that does coding and networking and some other programs together in one, let me just take that course. It's called BCS. So I was just C++. And while I was there, I learned something very, very important. You know, my lecturer would say, um, the lecturer at the, at the school would say, he would ask us, he would teach us um, a series of code, syntaxes, and all that, and then he now says, so I'm going to give you guys a problem right now. He puts the problem on the mind and says, someone should explain how to solve this problem in code. 
And the problem is you can't say English. There's no English in the class. You have to say programming words like, okay, we have to create a loop here, we have to do this here, we have to do this here. That's the way the class went on. And the problem is, anytime you start talking coding and they just get to where you're stuck. The next thing he says is, so what do you do? Because this thing is going to make you stop. So you always have to think of a plan B. So you take that experience into your WordPress life. You bought the team, you're working with the team, requirements are changing, you need to meet up requirements that have changed and things like that. What happens? Do you just give up on that team and say that thing doesn't need to do exactly what you want and then you change another thing? Or do you look for a way to work around it? So we're working on the website and she showed me this new, she showed me this new um, template or the template that she wants us to follow now and then what we have to do is, what I have to do is I have to sit down and code most of the things that we needed for the website. The donate button, we had to redesign everything because there was no, the thing didn't come with a special, you know most of the things come with like this special donate button that it's like kind of highlighted and then sticks on one side, that kind of thing. So we had to basically redo that, rework the entire CSS, HTML structure. We had to remove some JavaScript that we not needed because we were affecting some of the code and all of that. And then my second experience was last year. Um, we were working for, uh, I was, it wasn't my job, somebody called me to partner with me so I can work together on the website and things like that. So when we got the requirement for the website, you know, clients can be really funny, right? Clients can be really funny. They give you requirements that, as a designer, you start to wonder where they got the idea from. And you're like, this thing will not work. But then, you know, there are clients now, you don't want to argue and then they will not start to judge your intelligence by uh, maybe you cannot speak, that's why I, you understand. So the guy called me and said, this is what you want. And I looked at him and I said, you know, first of all, and they wanted to be responsive too. That was where the problem was. You know, what they wanted was, uh, as this image is, right, let's assume this is a watch page, then this is a web page. Let's assume this, everything like this are images, and then the purple thing is the background, right? So they say, this is a picture of a person, and we don't want, we don't want the words that are going to be put on those images to appear on the person's image. And bear in mind that the people that we're talking about are raising their hands, doing a lot of things in the images, so there's a, there's a little amount of space to write anything. If you are familiar with HTML, we have to do a lot of padding left, padding right, a lot of um, float left, float right thing, and all of that. And then, you know the funniest thing, it was good on desktop, it was great on desktop. And then we just opened it on mobile. And it was something else. And then we had to look at the game and be like, what are we doing, what are we doing wrong? You know, I, I'm glad that I learned a bit of bootstrap and all those things a while back, if not out of us. That is, I moved everything again. I started. I started that fresh. I went on bootstrap. Started doing all the bootstrap thing. Go on that. Go on this. Go on this. Go on that. And then by the time it was ready, it was quite responsive. Not very much, but it was quite responsive and everything. And I said, "Guy, yeah, what's the problem? Why can't we use WordPress?" And he's like, uh, "I don't know. I don't think WordPress will be able to do what we want." And I said, "Let's just try." So we started again. We went back to WordPress. They started doing the, the entire thing again and then eventually I told you see, there are times that you have to talk with your clients and let them know what is possible and what isn't and explain to them that you are going through to just get this thing right. Unfortunately, unfortunately for us, they agreed to let the images <laughs> stay at the back and let the text come on top. What am I trying to say? I'm saying that if we had not gone ahead to write code and to show them what it would look like if if we had coded it or if we had gone their way, then probably we, were not, we might not have been able to convince them that that might not be the way to go. Do you what I'm saying? And things and plugins give us limitations, but our ability to code will also enhance us in um, figuring out what to do and how to do it and then giving better results. Um, how are you going to work with the site that can give you no PHP? Basically, what 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 I'm saying is, how many of us know what is built on PHP? Just raise up your hands. Okay. How many of us know PHP is a programming language? Raise up your hands. Okay. So we all know that it's important that 
WordPress as as a as a uh, software development um, as, a, as, a, as a program that helps people build websites. Is, can we call this software uh, a, a a web app that allows you to build your stuff easily? But at the same time, if you understand the mechanics of PHP, if you understand PHP to a certain level, you'll be able to take your WordPress skills to another level. Given the fact that. There are times when we buy uh, plugins, right? We buy plugins or install plugins, and then we need our plugins to do certain things or to get certain details or stuff like that. And bear in mind that, like I said, WordPress goes beyond creating websites. You can create apps, beautiful apps. And I think some of the things today spoke on um, WordPress and Internet of Things. Imagine. You know, who, is, who, who knows what the Internet of Things is? If you know, just raise up your hand. Okay, Internet of Things, okay. The Internet of Things is the capability to infuse technology to our daily lives. That's just the bottom line of what everything, uh, what it, uh, um, IoT means. If you think our own, all these uh, smart homes that I get, that part of the Internet of Things cycle, being able to use technology to control our houseware, um, our, our, home, our home appliances, office appliances, to make coffee, to make a phone call, turn on the shower, uh, we get our car to drive to the front of the house so we can jump in, things like that. Those are what Internet of Things you know, mean. And then think about it and then think about the power of WordPress and say WordPress can control your car. Is it not mind blowing? For a web app where everyone just believes that should be a, an app where you can create free, um, free blogs and all that, and then you hear someone say you can use WordPress to control your car or make a coffee and then you're like okay let me take a step back are you really sure this small app that we're using to create small blogs that we're just into making access revenue can create something that would help you control your car if you understand the power behind that then you know the significance of WordPress everybody wants an easy life why do we create technology in the first place to make things easy for other people to make things easy for everyone else to 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 have easy access to things, get our doors open and all of that. And you know, technology is going to the stage where that thing is happening. I mean, we control our TV with our mobile phones. We do that, and if we can control our TV with our mobile phones. Definitely, somebody is willing to pay someone to create a website that can use to control every other thing in my house or in my office or in my child's room. You know, this. Um, Maybe it doesn't. Maybe they don't do it here. But you know, in America, you have your child, and then you don't want to stay with the child. You put a camera, and then you have the toys around, or the uh, food and things like that. You just have things around that you want to be able to you don't want to go into the room to do. You can do that from, let's say, your living room or from your room while you're asleep. Maybe you hear the child cry, you wake up, and then you have your laptop, and then you just use your laptop to do certain things. Maybe the the, the baby just need a little rocking to you know get back to sleep and things like that. With the push of the button, the um, what do you call the the hmm? there's no like the 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 creep no the creep yes so all you need to do is press one button and then the creep starts moving just shakes the baby a bit and then it falls asleep again. Do you know what I'm saying? Basically, I'm saying that if you can utilize the power that WordPress has, you'll be able to create unimaginable technology that goes way 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 beyond websites and blogs. Okay, so what happens when your client asks you for teams and plugins? And you go to an interview and then you sit down and then the man is like, oh, so you use, you use WordPress? Yes, sir. And you'll be, you'll, be, you'll be surprised that most of your clients know about these things than you do. I've gone to where, you, 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 have you gone to an interview where your client is challenging you? He's looking at you and like, okay, so what do you want to do for us? Um, okay, I'll purchase. The hosting and um, the main name and um, SSL certificate. Just as you didn't now mention SSL certificate, and then they are creating an e-commerce site. And they say, ah, so how will you secure my site? And I can go go security. What kind of security? You know, they are trying to push you to see how much you know about what they are trying to say. So, and they say, okay, and you know what? We don't want to use any of the themes that are online. We want you to design our own theme for us. Will you not come down the job? And let's assume, <laughs> let's assume it. Like an RB or uh, Hello Foods so or one of those big brands. Or let's just say Apple. Apple calls you and then you cannot say you want to turn down the job because you can 
create HTML template and then yeah, it with your WordPress. <laughs> Do you know how much money you would have lost? It's just one meeting, you'd have lost a lot of money. Am I right? But if you had like HTML skills, CSS skills, you know, you can build up from HTML, CSS, then you can move on to JavaScript and then go into all these other scripts. It will help you in, in creating more unique websites. I was reading online one time and somebody said something about Bootstrap. He said that like, everybody's using Bootstrap now and all the websites look alike. And it's true. I go to Thailand and I'm like, oh, WordPress. I go to Thailand and I'm like, oh, WordPress again. I go to, it's so, it's so glaring that everyone is using WordPress or is it, even if I'm not using WordPress, I know it's Bootstrap. I know, I shall know what is behind it, the technology. And I can see it. I don't even have to check the source code. That's how funny it is. That's how they resemble. Like, I don't have to go right click and check source code. I just look at the, oh, this is the WordPress site, obviously. So, we need to be able to create and distinct ourselves from others. And we won't be able to do that if we keep installing things and keep downloading plugins and everything. And then I'm sure you are aware that so much plugins actually makes your site really slow. And then it also makes your site really vulnerable. So as much as possible, install, you are free to install as many plugins as you want, but make sure it doesn't exceed 10 to 15. When it's more than that, then you have a problem. You need to look for plugins that can do multiple things, not just one thing. You're not installing one plugin for one thing. You need to look for plugins that can do a couple of things in addition, and also try as much as possible to, if you have a PHP skills, write your own plugin or write a system that can allow you to the, achieve the same thing that the plugin is helping you do. Do you understand? Um, WordPress plugins don't do everything. We all, we all know that. We already talked about, we already talked about that. And then, why should you learn to code at all? Why? Um, I'm going to look at this. Uh, I took this from um, smashingmarketer.com by Jonathan Ward said, uh, by the way, installing WordPress, installing WordPress, reading a few tutorials and customizing a few things does not make someone a top developer. They may call themselves an expert and that's fine. They may know more than the average person, but a top developer moves far beyond basics and pushes down the very boundaries of what is possible. They innovate, contribute to the community and demonstrate mastery in the work that they do. And that is the only reason why I'm talking about this right now. I want us to be able to push the boundary of what WordPress can do, create more for WordPress and for ourselves and for the community as well. And like he says, it's like, you know the quote that says, um, the world is a canvas and um, the world is your canvas. I'm an artist and then the world is your canvas. That's the same thing. That's like what this person is trying to say. WordPress makes you an artist and WordPress gives you a canvas to build up. And the only thing stopping you from creating mind-blowing technology is your imagination and your ability to code. Um, why stop at being a WordPress developer that just creates websites when you can be world class? I picked world class, I made it cool because I took it from my mentor, whatever you want prosper. If you are familiar with the coding, um, with the Google, the Google community as well. There's an awesome person, he writes the fantastic coder. Anyway, my point is, he always pushes people to be world, to be world class. He says that, um, when I was going to ask him to mentor me, I said, sir, I would want you to mentor me and everything. And he said, the first question he asked me was, are you prepared to be world class? And it's not about being just world class, it's about the readiness and determination and focus of being world class. And what it means to be world class is to be ready to face challenges, unimaginable challenges. And I won't stand here and tell you coding is easy because I'm struggling with it myself. I will tell you that it's possible to learn it if you invest the time in it. And also, it will also open doors for you. Um, one of the things it does is you make more money, basically. The reason why you make more money is people, did, we buy things for $65. Imagine, and these people brag about a million downloads. That has $65 times a million. Imagine if it was your thing that was up on Team Forest and was bought 
1,000 times, 2,000 times, 5,000 times. I remember that these people subscribe to it. Some of them offer free renewal, but some of them will tell you maybe renewal for a year. That means in a year, they have been returning customers because their team is so good that people return to pay another $65 a year so if you can if out of 1 million downloads 500 half of that becomes next year and meanwhile other people will still buy the thing again that same year but you have a fixed amount of people that will always come back to your site them they will always come back to buy your thing five at least 500 500 of them are coming to buy your thing or buy again um demand for wordpress development is high and clients are willing to pay more for developers who are the best in the field. And the only thing that can make you stand out from every other developer is your imagination and your ability to code. That is what I think. You are free to think whatever you want. You might be like, you know, like you have to learn how to go to stand out. But in the, in the end, it's about, if you don't know how to code, how would you modify all your templates, your plugins, your themes to do what you want, make it bend to your rules and things like that. Some developers or WordPress people don't think that you should um, look for a theme and then try to bend it to your rules that rather you should look for you should look for um, things that can do what you can do but the truth is even though you find those kind of things in the end there are still limitations that you'd have to fix for yourself and you'd have to know how to do and you don't want to outsource every time every time like that because sometimes it doesn't help you save money I'm working on the, on the website right now and I have a few issues and I have to call someone and I said uh, can you help me out? And I'm trying to. I'm having like a brain block because I really can't figure. Even, I can't even figure out what's wrong with it. I'm looking at the code and it's looking like nothing is wrong. But you, you're looking at the output and this is one of the things about coding. It drives you crazy sometimes. But if you keep pushing at it and you, you try fresh eyes, take a break, take a cup of coffee, see, wake up, then look at code again. You'll be fine. Trust me. You'll be fine. You might take weeks to figure out, but <laughs> you still figure <laughs> in the end you still figure it out. The code has know what I'm saying. So I have to call someone I'm like, dude, I've been working on this for like a week. She's a girl. And she goes really well, yeah. She writes front end like crazy. She doesn't even use WordPress. That's how that's why I actually called her. You know, she I I called her and I'm like, so help me, help me do this. And then she fixed the first problem in like two hours. I'm like what 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 happened? I, I was working on it for like three days. I couldn't get it. What was the problem? But she explained to me that I missed a few things that I didn't see when I was reading the code. And then she's working on something else now. And you know how much she's charging me per hour? Five thousand naira per hour. She said, I said, ah, five k. That's so much now. But but this now really is like that's my standard price. Five thousand naira per hour. And she has spent. I she has spent. I give it. I give it to her on Tuesday. She probably spends maybe two hours every day just trying to figure it out and then everything. So I'm, I'm sure by the time my bill comes down, I'm paying maybe fifteen k or something because of the amount of hours that she has spent on it just to fix. I think it's a menu problem. One of my menu don't is not responsive, and then the thing that I'm using as well, the way it displays people's profile is not responsive. Or oh, it's not responsive. It's in the table, and tables are not the tables for people that code. We know tables are not very responsive when it comes to mobile. So by changing the entire thing to to a Facebook-like design, the way Facebook displays your profile on mobile, where you have birthday on one line, you have um, address on one line. So it's going to be a table that has birthday name, address, like or reason why it comes this way this time. So basically, that's what she's trying to work on. So you can imagine the power of coding. She didn't have to do WordPress or anything. All she had to do was to log into my Cpanel or to my team editor and just change a few things and voila. Uh, get the best clients. But if you have dynamic looking websites, yeah, it will still be menu bar and slider, but then your menu bar has a bit of design. It's not the regular faded in or transparent slider. You have like, um, a logo that doesn't stay in the header, for example, something that drops above, um, that drops uh, way below, uh, that overlaps on both the header and then on the slider as well. Or you have an header that, that is not just a straight block of white, let's say it's, it stops at halfway and then it curves towards the top. You know, the things that if you know CSS and JS, that JavaScript, you'll be able to do by yourself and make it look more nice and make people 
see your website and say, oh, okay, this one's looking way, way different than the other one. Are you the one that actually did this one too? Yeah, I like, guess I'm the one. And they are looking at different different things that that, that blow their mind away. They are tend to give you that job because they believe that you do something that is different from every other thing that you've done, as well as make their own brand as well stand out. And what does any other brand want than to make their own brand stand out from others? One of the ways that you know a brand that stands out is actually from their website. You go to somebody's website and the website turns you off, you're not you likely to buy from that person or do business with that person. Am I right? And you know some of the time when you go to when we try to even search for things and then we just go to the person's demo thing and we're like, what kind of demo is this? They don't want to use this thing because they don't want to use the thing because the way they don't trust you. And then you have the most influence. Being at the top means you have influence and responsibility and capability to shape the future of WordPress as well as the ecosystem that is built around it. Basically what this means is, if you are good at what you do, people will know you, people will identify you, and um, it will enable you to teach others, influence others, help others see, see the um, nitty-gritty of using the platform that you use, as well as enable you um, to 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 what's it called to uh, return to the community or give back to the community and also because WordPress is such a large community we can see everybody here today we are like brothers and sisters because of WordPress because we here we are able to share ideas and talk about our problems as um, developers and then find answers to those things and because you are good at what you do more people tend to come to you and it gives you the gift of mentoring others. And then we all know what person to do that of code. I mean, are we, are, we, are we following? Like, I mean, somebody had to write the entire system out of code. So if you're staying away from code because somebody else has made it easier for you, why not just join the community and, and develop more so that WordPress can be better for others who, um, who can code at all or younger people so that they can have a platform to start learning how to do these things. And then one of the languages, obviously, that WordPress uses is PHP. JavaScript, HTML, CSS. These are these are not languages. These are markup markup text um, languages. And these are these are proper languages. PHP and JS. If you if you if you know all this, then you should be on your way to being a top developer in WordPress. And I'm not just talking about creating websites. I'm talking about themes and plugins and as well. And then uh, make WordPress better. What this means basically is just. As long as you can code, you can commit to WordPress. There is make the WordPress.com, yeah? Make whatever will come is a team of people from all around the world committing to the project WordPress. We get updates every time, and you don't know where those updates are coming from. They are all coming from make.wordpress.com. People spend their time and energy sitting down to think about the problems that we would face as developers and try and fix those problems. If we commit to that, um, to that community as well, we should be able to do that. So this is the link to learning more about being a top developer, a top WordPress developer. Uh, my time is up, so probably could get that later. Arigatou uh, gozaimasu. That's Japanese for thank you very much.